When you create a node type converter, you can copy properties from the source to the target, or you can create custom business logic to transform properties from source to target. For example, you can manipulate strings using concatenate or substring logic, or use lookup sets to search for target values based on a key value. Property transformations in node type converters calculate the value for a target property when comparing, sharing, or synchronizing data across application contexts. Let's look at transforming two properties for this node type converter, which uses Financial's cloud accounts as its source and target's accounts in planning. First, instead of simply copying the alias property, let's concatenate the name and description properties from the source. With the node type converter in edit mode, select Transform for the property you want to add an expression to. Then, click the Define Expression icon to open Expression Builder. For this expression, I'll build on the default return statement. You can click and drag statements, objects, and operators from the palette to the editor. I'll start with the source node object. Notice that the statement box turns red to indicate an invalid statement. In this case, the statement is looking for a string value, and I'm currently returning a node object. Click the dot after the object to see properties related to the object. I'll select the name property, which is a string data type property. Now the statement is returning a valid string. To concatenate it with another string, append the concat method. I'll enter a dash in the first string parameter, and complete the second string parameter by pointing to the node description. When your statement is complete, click Apply, then click Save to save the changes to the node type converter. Next, let's look at a case where the source property value maps to, but doesn't match, the property values required in the target. In this example, the account type values used by Financials Cloud are alphabetic, although they are displayed in views as full words. The planning target requires fully spelled out values for account type. You can use a lookup set to transform a set of values into a different set of values. I've already created a lookup set that associates the source values, or keys, to the target values I want in the corporate planning application. Let's create an expression for account type. Return to the node type converter and edit it. Select Transform for the account type property and open Expression Builder. To return a value from a lookup set, select the lookup set's object, then the name of the lookup set, and then append the find method. As the parameter for the find method, specify the source node property that contains the key values, in this case, the FCGL account type property. Apply the expression and save the node type converter. Now let's test the transformations. I use the account maintenance view to align the accounts dimensions between Financials Cloud and Planning. I'll run a comparison and identify any missing nodes in the planning hierarchy. I'll select a sibling of one of the missing nodes and find its parent in the plan account hierarchy. Here, the node should be a child of accounts receivables. I'll start a new request and drag and drop the node to the proper parent in the plan account hierarchy. The highlighted properties contain values that are affected by the node type converter, whether it's a copy or a transformation. In this example, when you add the node to the plan account hierarchy, the name and description are copied, and the alias is calculated by concatenating the name and description properties. Also, the account type property is calculated based on the defined lookup set. To learn more, visit docs.oracle.com.